Hey folks, welcome back. My name is Krishna. If you're new to the channel, welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create your own set of reasonable vanishing points for one or two point perspective. It's certainly something that I use over and over again, so I don't have to keep redrawing it. So let me show you how this technique starts. So we're going to first go out with a blank layer and I'm going to uh, pick a brush. We'll hold the shift key down to create a straight line somewhere on this canvas. Then what I'll do is I'll duplicate that layer by hitting Command J, Control J on Windows. I will then hit Command T, that brings up the Transform tool. And then what I would like to do is I'd like to rotate this duplicate by 30 degrees. So I'll go up to the top, I'll type in the number 30, hit Enter. And then when I'm happy with that line, I'll hit Enter again to commit that change. Now, if I want to make subsequent duplicate and transforms, in other words, if I want to repeat this process, I could do this manually, or what I could do is I could hold down Shift, Option, Command, T, or Shift, Alt, Control, T, and it will repeat that last transform. And that's something that is super powerful to know. So once I have this in place, I can Shift, select those layers, I can merge them in, and let's say that I want more granularity, I want to have more lines. Well, it's pretty easy from this point. All I have to do is duplicate the layer by hitting Command J, then use the Transform tool once again, and just rotate it and hit Return. So now I have a vanishing point right at the center, and I have all these rays that are emanating from that vanishing point. Let's go ahead and merge those two layers together. Let's call this Vanishing Point. Give it a layer name. And Instead of me having to redraw this every single time I want to go ahead and have a finishing point, I can go up to Window and choose Libraries. Then I can take this particular layer and I can drag it onto my library. And within seconds, you can see that this finishing point uh, will load up into my libraries. And the beauty of this is that if I happen to switch between, say, my laptop and my desktop, or if I'm at school or I'm at home and I want to be able to access my commonly used assets, by placing them in the library, I have easy access to them. So um, I can take basically all of my uh, commonly used assets on the go. So now I can just drag this vanishing point, it comes in as a smart object, and now I've got the basis for my one point grid. And I've done this process to show you that anything can be basically, anything that you draw, can be a library item. So for example, I've got some parallel lines that I've already saved into my library. I can bring those in. And now I have a grid at the bottom, a surface that I can use to go ahead and create buildings, vehicles, etc. So super handy to be able to use the library, especially for things that you're probably going to be using over and over again. So instead of having to remake them, just save them to the library and you should be good to go. So if you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up so more folks can find it. Um, as always, I appreciate and value each and every one of you, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya. Peace.